And even when, you know, it seems like, you know, it's calm and everything's at peace, that's great. That's still a great time to pray to God. And, you know, and we, it's, it's not... It's not good for us to wait till the storms arise in our lives to start praying. That's it's, that's even that's even a greater time to pray, but also even when the, when there's a stillness in our lives and things are going well, that's still an awesome time for us to pray to God and continue to just pray to Him and just pray praise Him and worship Him, and 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 love on Him, you know, and and just thank Him for who He is. And, you know, and as well as for what he's done, but mainly for most importantly for who he is. So I encourage you, please continue to pray, pray for your family, pray for your loved ones, pray for those that don't even, that you don't even consider your loved ones. Those that you those that those that may seem like it's hard that may seem like it's hard to love them or even like to, you know, it's, it's, it may seem like it's hard to love them or like them. You know, pray for them as well. Pray for those Pray for those people that are that you feel that are using you. Pray for those people that that you feel that hate you. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Pray for pray for America. Pray for every country around this world. You know, don't stop praying. And I'm telling myself that first, that I can't stop praying no matter what. No matter what goes on, no matter how great things get, no matter how no matter how much money may improve or, you know, I still have to continue to pray, continue to pray over your finances, even when, even when money, even when the increase comes and money gets better, continue to pray over your finances and, you know, and, and just continue to pray, pray without ceasing as First Thessalonians five seventeen says, God bless you and God keep you. And I pray God's peace and God's love over you in the name of Jesus.